Right. Very last one. Yeah, you weren't expecting that, were you? Is the brand new Thundercats. Now, this is season one, book one. And I have only just paid off my credit card bill, so I'm actually able to buy more DVDs now. Um, I mean, I sent my cousin all my money on films. I don't. I'm not that sad. I have a, I have a wife who keeps watching on my sort of stuff. Um, but, as I say, I'm buying a flat, so things are expensive. So, when I eventually get around to it, I'm going to buy book two, three. Now, I know they did two seasons of this. Now, I heard that they are going to make a third season, but that hasn't come to fruition just yet. And then also, once I've watched those, I can finally watch the final final part of Helsing Ultimate, which I have done a review of. Um, so, this one, if you can see it, okay, you close? Right, done. Right, so, this guy holding the sword of omens is Lino. The big bloke on the, under the, uh, the symbol is Panthro. The one in the corner opposite of Lino is his brother, stepbrother Panthro. Then there's Chitara. And then in the background is Mumra, who is this creepy looking dude up here. Then you've got the two kids here, Wily Cat and Wily Kit. And then a new character called where is he? Groon. Who was in the se in the original season, but he was only using it very little. And then there's General Slave. So it says the Thundercats are back in an all new animated series that purrs with sensational stories starring favourite characters. Yes, they did write purrs in there. The exciting first eight episodes were interaction with the evil when the evil Mumra attacks the city of Thundera that destroys the cat civilization, leaving only a band of survivors. Tiger, Panther, Snarf, who's actually not on here, thank God, Snarf. Um, blah, blah, blah. Snarf, Chitara, Wily Kit and Cat, the young Prince Lionel, the surviving ruler of his people. As the threats of Mumra ring in their ears, they are determined, the determined cats know what they must do. Find the Book of Omens which holds the key to their future. Using his powerful sword of omens to achieve sight beyond sight. I'll come to an in joke on that one in a minute. Lino guides his friends across the lands facing, facing vicious foes and making new allies. Proud with the Thundercats through their all new legendary adventures, see the adventure series to the legendary temple that conceals their ancient secrets. So you got Omens Part 1 and 2, Ramlak Rising, Song of the Petalars, Old Friends, Journey to the Tower of Omens, Legacy, and the Duelist and the Drifter. Um, right, the little in joke. Uh, well. I can tell you, again, if you're 10 years old or younger, I turn away or skip ahead for about 10 seconds. Ready? I will do that. Skip now. So, basically, holding is holding, uh, which, um, using his powerful sword of omens. Hmm. If you're 10 years old, you're probably wondering what I'm talking about. Go back in 10 seconds and have a look. Um, I quite like this series. I really like the artwork in it, and I like the fact that they're not being really, really pansy and rubbish with it. Like, one of the things I hated religiously about the original series was, aside from the artwork, was, you know, artwork of its time. You know, things like Mask and Thundercats were all kind of similar, sort of design, He-Man. Is um, the fact that there are no humans there. The You know, in the original series, there were... There were a couple of humans, which kind of makes it difficult to try and pin down because in the original series they had um, King Arthur. Now I know Mumra was masquerading as King Arthur, but he was still there, which means it must be around. Uh, I'm gonna get this really wrong. Um, I want to say 100 BC. No, more than that. About 1400, maybe. I'm really wrong on that. I don't know. Um. But in this one, there are no humans at all. They're just the animals. So you get the dogs, the cats, um, the lizards, the vulture men, the uh, plants, the robots. Uh, there is another one. I can't remember what it is. Oh, um, uh, the gorillas type monkey one, monkey man. Um, and that's the other thing. The characters from the originals are in here. Obviously, been given a bit of a makeover, but some of them 
have actually been given proper names. So, like, for instance, uh, Jekyllman, Jack, Jackalman, sorry, he actually, him and Monkey Man are actually given proper names, and so is Vulture Man. Oh, God, shut up. Sorry, that's my phone. Vulture Man is actually given a proper name as well. So, they all, yeah, okay. They all actually have, like, their own little identity as such. And Slythe, well, he, Mumra actually turns out in this one, I think it's much better, rather than the kind of really crap one that he was in the original series, along with Lino, because, you know, Lino was meant to be really hard and stuff. And in the, in the original, he was kind of a wimp, a bit of a pussy. But in this one, he's actually properly tough, so and Mumra is even tougher. Um, I'm going to give this series an 8. It hasn't beaten so far the Ben 10 series that I reviewed in the last half an hour. But that's not to say that another one of my ones coming up. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven DVDs left to review, and then I'm going to begin on to some new stuff. Um, so I'll give this a uh, uh, Like I said, I'll give it my rating. I'm going to put the link in the description bar on the bottom. Please give me a uh, little reply on the bottom. I have seen the, the other episodes. And it's just the fact that I can I watched them when they came out online. Now they've all been removed. Um, but I am buying them as soon as I can, and uh, then I'll review the book, the other books, and hopefully the other series. When that, if assuming it comes out in one chunk, if it's going to be, you know, book one, book two, book three, season one, or if they're going to book, yeah. Um, if they're going to have like all season one as book one to three and season two book one to three. I don't know. I haven't found any details like that yet. So when I do my next one, I am going to do the, I'm going to do the Love Heinous series I've decided, which is, uh, let's have a look. Um, two, two DVDs. Okay. So I will see you in a bit. Bye bye.